What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Marcus Speak Short. And today's story is about the time that I got hit by a car. So the year is 2002, and I was dating this girl that lived across town. The only thing that divided us was the highway. I basically called my friend and said, hey, I want to see my girlfriend today. Let's, let's ride over there. So get your bike so we can, um, we can ride over there. What wound up happening was that he had to steal a bike because he didn't have a bike. When he got his bike, or when he stole his bike, we we ride over. So what split me and my girlfriend from seeing each other was just a highway. We basically drive probably 25 minutes to her house. We get there, we meet my cousin, because she lived in a neighborhood over. After we meet my cousin, we go and get my girlfriend, and we hang out, we just basically walk around their neighborhoods, because there was really nothing else to do. Now, as I started getting tired, so I told her, hey, you know, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna get a kiss goodbye. Me and my friend decided to go to the store before we left. There was a convenience store right across the street from their neighborhoods. So we grab something and we eat it right there at the gas station just talking about what we did that day. I was like, all right, we got to get home because the street lights are about to come on and my mom's going to beat my ass if she finds out where the hell I was today. Because, uh, you know, me being 13 uh, at that time, I wasn't supposed to be that damn far. After we leave the gas station, I, we started riding our bikes and I started getting a cramp in my uh, right leg. It happened twice. I make it to gas station up and I get another Charlie horse in my right uh, leg. I told my friends, hey man, I got, I gotta chill out. Like I gotta either walk the bike home or, or uh, stretch, stretch with my hamstring or something because that shit was, it was really hurting. The way that this gas station was set up was that uh, you could get from it from one road, but you could also access it from the highway. So we took the road to where you could access it to the highway because that was the fastest way possible to get home. We saw that, you know, traffic was backed up, it was busy. We had to make our move to get across, so as soon as we found our opening, we took it. So my friend goes first. He makes it to the median, scot free. He, he doesn't have a neck on. So then the highway starts back up. You know, the light changes. It starts back up, starts going. So I have to wait another. I think it was like 10 minutes I had to wait. I saw that traffic started to slow up. The light uh, turned red. I went through. But I didn't see that the left turning lane still had a green left. I got hit. And it hurt. The ironic thing about the person that hit me was that it was the mother of this girl that I went to school with. We had social studies together. I mean, when I got hit, I just blacked out. I didn't see shit. And when I came to, it was like I had just got done drowned. I just plus when I got hit, a shoe of mine, a, a, these expensive Stacy Adam boots that my mom got me, popped off my foot and my front tire uh, got got popped off too while I got hit. I didn't su suffer any injuries. I just was sore the next day. But when I had got hit. My uh, best friend's uncle was right next to the car that hit me, but he was going home, he was going straight. So, me me being me, I get up, I see I don't have, I uh, only have one shoe on, and I was like, where's my shoe? So I started looking for my shoe. So, while that was going on, as I'm get, trying to get up and you know come to, my fucking, uh, <laughs> my fucking friend's uncle was like, hey man, you gotta sit down. And I was like, nah, I gotta find my shoe. He said, no, you have to sit down. 
basically what he was trying to say was sit your ass down, act hurt, so your mother can sue, so y'all can get some money from it. I was 13, I didn't know. You know, I just wanted to get my shoe because that shoe meant more to get because if I didn't come home with that shoe, suing somebody was going to be the last thing on my mom's mind because my ass was going to be the first thing on her, her mind because number one, I wasn't supposed to be where the fuck I, I was supposed to be. And number two, I got hit by a car. And number three, I lost a shoe that cost her $200. Well, not just the shoe, the pair of shoes cost her $200. They get me on the ambulance. My friend's uncle calls my mom. Uh, luckily, my older sister was home. So she got the message to my friend that I was with, mother that lived around the street. They drive to where we was at, which we was on the highway. It wasn't too far from uh, for them to get to us. We both got in trouble. <laughs> he got grounded. I had to stay home uh, from a week of school, which was me being grounded. And I was fucking sore as fuck the next day. I went to the hospital. The doctor basically told uh, told my mom he doesn't have any broken bones. He doesn't uh, have any internal bleeding. He should be fine. Just monitor him uh, while he's sleeping. And in these next couple days, if nothing, if he doesn't have any seizures or anything, he'll be fine. Uh, that was the time I got hit by a car, and it hurt. All right, y'all, thank y'all for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe this video. Please uh, hit up the social medias at Instagram at Marcus.Speaks.Podcast and at, on the fan page on Facebook at Marcus Speaks PC. And you can also access my uh, personal page on Facebook, which is Marcus Speaks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.